Hello my girls, it's your girl Chris Coria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is actually day two of my preparing for Trinidad Carnival. I told y'all I am gonna be vlogging all of this. I'm gonna vlog every single thing. So this is me on the elliptical machine. I'm never too sure. I'm gonna go back way and then I figure it out. Say, oh yeah, up front way. All right, guys, don't judge me. Don't be that girl. Don't be that guy. All right, so did my best. Started trying to do like a little wine thing. It never really worked out. Almost drop off. Went all the way into this little twist up thing. I went all the way down as well. I was trying to make it mine. You know, you know them way that I try to make the machine mine. It never worked out. So I'm just leave it at the side to dance. So over here now, guys, Kamo, my personal trainer and the lead trainer for Tough Fitness, is showing me some range of motion exercises that will prepare my body for an effective upper body exercise or workout regime which we're going through today as a name or the title showed you we are doing bench pressing today so we're going to get into some details i have jim zilla as well who is going to be a special guest for this particular vlog so first we did the superman which was the exercise before this one and now he's demonstrating the thread the needle so all of these i recommend doing them if you've never done a warm-up prior to an upper body workout i recommend that you do them and we go through a whole barrage of exercises so just stay tuned uh the next thing that we do is some really cool cat cows um so right here yeah so we do cat cows 10 of them in this position and then look close to the end i'm going to bring the hands in so i get more of the upper back so first we're focused more so on the mid back to lower back warming up those areas because of course when you do things like bench press it's a compound movement which requires all lots of upper body lots of lower body as well which we're going to be getting into details a little bit later on as well here now we're doing some kamo refers to them as shoulder dislocations as a physiotherapist i mean i like the name there but i get why i call it that it opens up your shoulder joints. If you have anything like a rotator cuff injury, that is just a fancy way of saying the, the group of muscles that helps to stabilize your shoulder joint. This may be a little bit painful or you may feel a little bit of a stabbing or like a pricking sensation if it's minor. Um, if you are feeling pain when you do this exercise, just stop, get an x-ray or an MRI, uh, check out what's going on with your shoulder or get a physiatrist or a physiotherapist to assess you. So that you can you know continue your workout and you know don't push through pain guys that's not good pain is your body telling you that you know something is wrong so over here now come always showing me the quadratus lumborum aka ql walk which is a muscle in the lower back which tends to be a culprit of persons who have uh, back pain it may be very tight so this is helping to strengthen that little muscle there which will also be necessary as a pre-workout to our bench press all right, so right here, I'm showing you my typical setup for my bench press. So I move forward, I get my shoulder blades tight and right at the back, squeeze them together and I slide forward and I get that arch in. Why am I doing this? It's to stabilize my shoulders and to increase the surface area off of which I can pump. Now, as you're gonna be hearing from both Jeremy and Como a little bit later on, benching is a compound movement and so it doesn't just involve the shoulders or isolating the pectoralis muscles it involves pushing from the legs as well right over here now we're going to have jim zilla iron killer mr jeremy tough raps the director of the tough gym and he's going to be pumping some iron now try to guess how much weight that is I'm Jeremy Big Jim Silla Iron Killer Owen, also known as Jeremy Tough Raps. Um, I am a national powerlifting coach. I am also a monstrous athlete himself. Next thing, bench press is a full body exercise. If you want to achieve the maximum potential, you have to start with the soles of your feet and transferring the power through your lower legs, through your hamstrings, through your quads, 
through your hip, through your lower back, through your lats, through your triceps, forearms, and the palm of your hands, your grip. It is a full body exercise. So you are probably wondering, okay, why are we getting bench pressing lessons in the middle of our preparing for soca for Trinidad Carnival? Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so here's the thing, ladies. I'm trying to gain muscle mass. I'm trying to gain mass. So when I say muscle, I know some of y'all thinking boom or bam or bang. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking really nice, sexy, Sports Illustrated with a little bit more body thickness, right? So I want to pack on some more muscle. And of course, I'm going to be eating in such a way that I can have a nice, smooth, sweet, thick figure like this. Or even this. You get me? This wasn't changed. It's my no, that's fine. Right. And your arch is a good arch, you know, because you're getting maximum power from the points of contact on the bench. So this okay. to me is very good in terms of her body structure. And you can see that when you dance, that you would have a good arch on the bench because of the mobility that you have with your hip area and with your flexors. So now, unwrap. Right? Lower to your chest. Drive the power from your feet up the bench. Push with your feet, right? Push from. Perfect. That's it. Push. Exactly. You're keeping your glutes on the bench and you're using your legs, you're using your hips to get the weight up. Excellent. Excellent. And that is what the majority of persons who bench press do not use the power in their legs, which is why. If a person study technique and do it right, those who have a heavy deadlift or a good squat, their bench should improve because you have the power in your legs. It's a full body exercise. And it's almost as if you're doing a squat lying down. That's how you must picture it. But most people don't, most people just push him from here alone. Yeah. What knocks out a lot of the people are the cues. Like, they just think about pressing the bar as opposed to pushing yourself away from the bar. I like that one. Pushing myself away from the bar, driving through the floor. Same thing with deadly. Yeah. You're, you're pushing. You're pushing your feet down as far as they can into the ground. Leg press, um, leg press the floor. That's how you, you look at it. Leg press the floor. Leg press in the floor. Yeah. But most people don't do that. And that's the difference between a good bencher and somebody who's going to stay stuck at a particular number. So my name is Kamau Wakile Brown. Lead trainer, tough fitness J A, personal trainer, coach, future nutritionist, mental health coach, and exercise physiologist, strength and conditioning coach. And now we're gonna move on to some other exercises. Right here, we're doing the tricep pull downs, and I have highlighted in the sticker the muscles that are being worked. I'm laughing because I didn't know what to do, uh, but luckily Kamau was close by and he helped me by demonstrating again. And right here, so me catch on. Good. See? At girl, Diva settings. So now we're doing bicep curls, and I am again dropping a highlight of the muscles that are being worked. Bicep curls are self explanatory. I'm working my biceps. Yeah, so that's what's happening right there. And we also moved on from here to doing what is known as a face pull exercise. And with the face pull exercise, we're working posterior deltoids here, mid and lower traps, infraspinatus, and the teres major. If you don't know what those are, you can simply Google them. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, the single arm bent over row is what is happening right here. So I'm working muscles like the posterior deltoid, latissimus muscles, among others. But those are the primary muscles that are actually being worked. And the next exercise that i did was the lateral raise and of course this is working both anterior and lateral deltoid muscles really nice exercise for rounding out the shoulders if you're one of those ladies who want to get that done then get it done team meeting before i left yeah guys so before i forget just letting y'all see i'm doing my post workout um so if you don't get to have like a meal right away um surely you need to get your amino acids in um and today i'm taking tough labs boost right um i'm doing one scoop <laughs> it's 
powder. <laughs> my AC is on, it's blowing it everywhere. I'm doing one scoop into my water bottle. Y'all saw me do the um, the pre-workout earlier. Where is the cover for this? Oh, it's right here. So I did the pre-workout earlier. This one is the boost. And I'ma just show you the, this is what I took earlier. That's my pre-workout brawl. And that's tropical, or sorry, forbidden punch. <laughs> and then this one is lemon lime, right? So I have those two here. This is my post-workout. Give it some shake, whoops. Tastes really good. <laughs> All right, so here. Yeah, so make sure it's that oh no, take on a pre work before, pre workout before, and do your post workout. Particularly for me, I'm a woman, so I want to get thicker down here the ass and, and, and the, the legs, the thighs. Um, and you have to make sure that your body is not operating at a caloric deficit, which means that you cannot be ex expelling more than you're actually putting in so if for example i had a large meal before i had veggie chunks because i'm doing the vegetarian thing now um so veggie chunks and rice and kalalua had like a nice big serving of that like about 30 45 minutes before and then i had this the pre-workout to give me that extra boost um you guys saw my full workout it was long it was extensive um upper body i'm not usually like really strong with my upper body and so i needed an extra boost today um and then at the end because i'm leaving from the gym now i'm going to have to purchase food when i go back closer to home um i'm doing this to basically hold me until then so that has my amino acids so that literally my body won't start digesting or breaking down my muscles right so <laughs> that's a wrap on this video i really do hope you enjoyed it catch me next week again for another fitness vlog Mwah!